Hello everyone, this is uh, Antonio from uh, Random Stuff and um, welcome to this video on an annoying issue that I've been having on OneDrive uh, from Microsoft. Since um, re-imaging my machine after uh, an SSD failure, I've had issues with OneDrive. I've um, used the Cronus um, uh, True um, Image uh, workstation to restore and as you can see in the background uh, these are my attempts to sign into my OneDrive without success um, it's very frustrating the image that I had was from July and uh, since July now we're in uh, January 2017 um, there are things which are not the same versions are wrong and etc and as you'll see in the solution uh, at the end of this video there is a way to actually fix this um, not knowing that there was a fix I, I basically um, uninstalled uh, my image and uh, put it onto a new SSD drive a bigger SSD drive with a Cronus um, a couple of times always to no avail the error message is always the same that the code did not work uh, when I put it in uh, telling me that I've actually synced this um, this uh, uh, personal account on the machine and therefore it's not allowing me it says that you're syncing a different account and then it's got that uh, speech marks with nothing in between so I used um, um, Lightshot to uh, search images um, of that error messages um, of that error message and I found this um, uh, entry here in the forum which I'll put the link in the description OneDrive won't let me sign in because the account is already linked there's um, lots of um, suggestions, uh, but mainly there's two. One is to unlink uh, the account from the machine that it's uh, on. Uh, as you can see down here, this is the actual uh, exact same error message that I'm getting. And um, the possible solution, which I'm going to show you first, which may work for you, it didn't work for me, but I'll show it to you anyway, is to actually attempt and unlink. So as you can see here on this uh, particular line, well, I'm going to just highlight here. Mm, it's just coming up here. You'll see uninstalling and reinstalling worked for me. That that was that's what fixed the problem for me in the end. But as you can see here, the unlinking should be attempted first, according to the. Uh, the replies so you see that uh, unlink your device now I try to do this so just to show you the steps I've left the video pretty much um, untouched so you can see as many of the uh, so you can see as many of the passages that I took uh, when you click on the icon in the sys tray you go into account for set up OneDrive and you put in your email address that you are wanting to use that it's on the image already this uh, the image on this machine uh, was for this particular account I did a typo there I think but no but it's fine it's, it's the right it's the right email but I just get you know you, you unlink the account and then add a new one sounds easy enough so you go back to the uh, icon in this is tray you go to the settings and you do add account but you're just uh, basically in a continuous loop so as um, as you can see here, I'm um, now trying to do what the first suggestion is, and that is to unlink um, possibly my PC or my laptops uh, from, you know, the actual OneDrive account. So if I go and sign in on the actual Microsoft um, OneDrive uh, page, as you can see here, I simply put the usual username without the typo obviously go next and lo and behold I'm gonna get the same message again looks like it's gonna sign in put the password in again Sorry for the, um, the length of the video. It's a bit boring. You can you can fast forward and see the solution that worked for me. This is the first one that uh, is suggested in a couple of different places online. Not many places, but for some people, apparently, this worked. So 
So I put my authentication code from my uh, authenticator. And as you can see, I can log into it. So on the left hand side, you see your files and uh, eventually you'll see all the PCs that are linked to that particular OneDrive, Gmail or Outlook, whatever account you use to create your OneDrive account, personal one. So I've got uh, one, two, three, four, four different PCs. I'll show you how I remove a couple just to uh, illustrate the point. You just select one and uh, simply remove and uh, I'm overlapping here just to speed things up. Um, eventually I try with, with removing one and I get the same error message. And um, because the one I removed was the one that I thought was the potential duplicate or um, the potential uh, device that would need to be removed. I also had some devices in the family uh, tab of the actual website but that uh, that didn't make any difference neither and I, I removed also um, um, a Microsoft Lumia uh, 950 Excel device that I had linked in there and that also didn't make any difference and uh, you know I'm, I'm just going through the motions and as I say it's a, it's a long video but you, you get the idea uh, this particular method didn't work for me every time I removed one I, you know, I tried it and uh, I would always get the same error message that I would have to unlink it. Turns out that the, the reason uh, is that the, uh, the version of OneDrive is old on this particular image that I restored. And so, you know, as uh, with hindsight and uh, knowing all this now, I make sure that I'm going to start making uh, regular, you know, maybe, you know, uh, fortnightly or, or monthly backups with Titanium, uh, sorry, not with Titanium, with, um, with Acronis uh, True Image Workstation 2017, which I'm considering buying. At the moment, I'm not, I haven't bought it because I can do what I need to do without having to get the license. So here I'm uh, basically showing how I got back to the, uh, to the web page where One, uh, OneDrive. Uh, couple of solutions we're on and uh, the other one is the one that you see down here and um, I'll again I'll copy this in the uh, description below yeah, essentially there's a, a guy here that says you know what he did uh, basically to remove it and uh, uninstall it and then reinstall it over again and um, this is exactly what I'm going to be attempting uh, in the next few moments of this uh, video which is um, shortly to uh, to finish it's only going to last another probably three four five minutes max to see the end of it so this is what worked for that guy so if i just copy that and i paste that into my uh, run command so just press the window key with the r and you see a newer version of onedrive is actually um installed that, you saw that message there so i clicked on it and see what happens now basically um, I figured that you know the only way I can do this is I need to remove it. So I thought, shall I use Revo Uninstaller, which removes registry values and it goes really, really deep. And I didn't choose that because I had issues um, previously in doing this. And what works best um, in my, uh, on my, in my case, was to actually go through the normal programs and features and uh, you know um, remove or uninstall uh, and change a program. So I select the Microsoft OneDrive here and I simply click on uninstall. When that is removed, I don't restart the machine, I don't do anything of the sort, I just basically go and copy that uh, that string there and uh, paste it in there, hit OK. It finds executable in that location and it starts to install OneDrive. And coming to the end of the video now almost, as you can see an update is being installed OneDrive is being updated to the most recent version or to the latest version as you can see there. Uh, I'm so glad that this worked for me because 
even though I'm not a huge um, user of um, OneDrive, I do like to have everything working on my PC if possible. And uh, I'm sure most of you are the same if you have something that doesn't work and it's just really frustrating and annoying. So it was the only thing that didn't work after I did my uh, original restore uh, with the Cronus. And that's why I decided uh, after messing it all up by un uninstalling and reinstalling, uh, you know, the one uh, OneDrive, um, I hadn't seen that article. I thought, right, if I get this um, resolved, I need to make a video on it. So as you can see, now that it's installed the update, when I go into the same old section, it says an update is required. So I do obviously follow the prompt and I, I do the update as it's prompting me to do that. And you can see there, OneDrive is uh, giving me some information about what it does. It's uh, downloaded the, the update, which I'm going to click down there. And this is the final step to having a perfectly working OneDrive account on a machine that has been restored with an image which is six to seven, well, six months old. I'm sure this is probably going to help somebody who is going crazy in trying to find a solution to this. I haven't found any videos on it, so shouldn't be too many out there. And uh, so I'm hoping it's gonna help out. Certainly works. Well, one, one, one of the methods or the other method, but this method should work anyway. So now you can see if I go to set up OneDrive, I'll um, put my email address and I know it's not gonna give me any issues this time, as you can see. comes the uh, password prompt and again after the password dual authentication the code on my phone I just type it in here and um, submitting you'll see that uh, it looks much better now this is your OneDrive folder you know you could go and change it if you wanted to. Uh, for example, my Google Drive folder, I tend to save that on a separate drive, not the C drive. But I, I think on this particular occasion, I've decided to leave it under the default uh, location path, which is under the user account of where uh, the user account under the C drive in, um, in Windows. 10. So I think I just come out of this window at this stage and cancel. Just leave that users there. Do OK and use this location. Everything is syncing perfectly now and I'm quite happy with that. In fact, now when you look at the file explorer window you can see that the amount of objects in the folder increase because they're being pulled in as you can see here there's uh, so many there what 12 items bottom left and it should start pulling in some new things some new files there you go it's increased so that's it. I hope that's helped. Um, until the next one, take care. Cheers. Bye.